this video, we are going to explore the concept of indicator random variables. We will see what they are, how they link probability with expectation, and finally see an example of how they are used to calculate the expected value. Let's dive right in. An indicator. Random variable is a random variable that outputs 1 if a certain event occurs, and 0 otherwise. Mathematically, an indicator random variable is defined as follows. Here, A is an event in the sample space. If A occurs, then the indicator random variable I sub A outputs 1, otherwise it outputs 0. Now, let's see how indicator random variables connect probability with expectation. The expected value of an indicator random variable is the probability of the event it represents. But why is this true? Well, when the event A occurs, the indicator random variable outputs 1 and when it doesn't, it outputs 0. We saw in previous video on expected value that the expected value of a random variable is the sum of all possible values of the random variable weighted by their probabilities. Since the indicator random variable only outputs 1 or 0, the expected value is simply the probability of the event A. Let's see an example of how indicator random variables are used to calculate the expected value. Consider a game where you win $1 if you get a heads. You are going to play this game 10 times. Every flip of the coin is an independent event and the probability of getting a heads is half since the coin is fair. We can define an indicator random variable for each flip of the coin like this. Now, let x be the random variable that represents the amount of money you win in this game. This random variable can be represented as the sum of all the indicator random variables. Next, using the linearity of expectation, we can calculate the expected value of x as the sum of the expected values of the indicator random variables. If you don't know what linearity of expectation is, Please watch our previous video on this topic where we explain it in detail. Now we know that the expected value of an indicator random variable is the probability of the event it represents. So we can substitute the expected value of each indicator random variable with the probability of getting a heads. Since the probability of getting a heads is 0.5, we can substitute this value in the equation. After solving the equation, the expected value of the random variable x comes out to be 5. This means that on average you can expect to win $5 per roll of the coin. And that's it. We have seen how indicator random variables are used to calculate the expected value of a random variable. I hope you enjoyed this video. In the next video, we will look at another interesting concept in probability theory called Law of Unconscious Statistician. Thank you for watching.